Hey guys, what's up? Tim here. I'm doing a review on the Lego City set 60003 Fire Emergency, ages 5 to 12, has 201 pieces. It usually retails for about 30, however, I got it for 12 because uh, they, uh, price, they had the, the price they put it as was, was wrong. So, it comes with three minifigures, which I really should have set up better. But. It's a pretty good set. Um, is it worth the 30? We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we'll talk about that at the end. But, uh, I did do an unboxing, which will be at the end of the video. Um, hopefully. I think I did, did I do something wrong? Am I missing a piece? I think I missed a step. That's weird. Just a sec. I don't know. That's weird. On the um, on the box, it shows the firefighter with the fire extinguisher putting out a fire in a barrel. You do get a barrel, and you do get one of those little fire pieces, but they are in, they have different objectives in the set. Um, so that's kind of odd. Maybe you can do that too. Oh, yeah, you can, okay, that's an alternative you can do. Well, that's cool. I'll show that, too. So, let's get into the minifigs. You get three. They're all firefighters. You get two men firefighters and one woman. So, we'll start off with woman, because I do like the women minifigs in, in Lego. She has a, a dark reddish helmet. There's her head. Really nice head printing. Torso printing. And also the same torso and... Everything, so I won't really show that. And like pudding. She does come with a saw, a chainsaw, or j actually just a regular saw. She looks very nice. Here we have a male. Same exact to everything. There's his face. And he comes with an axe. And then the last minute you get, it's really neat, it's this guy. And he has, again, the same hat. Um, he also has a, 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 a breathing apparatus, which is this. This is a couple of different pieces. And now he's the same everything else, one of the fire extinguishers. I will show you what he looks like without all this stuff. This is wet. So, what do you need? What do you need? Um, Two um, items per se. In the set, you get a little building, um, and you get a you get a ladder truck. So it's very cool. And there's a lot of pieces that are new in the set. Um, which I will, I, I, there's a couple of the extra pieces that I will show you. Provide for the fire truck, with the fire with the ladder truck. I mean, um, pretty easy build. I think it's, it's in the first manual of instructions. I'll talk about the instructions in more depth in a minute. Um, um, there's a there's, they jam pack a lot of pieces into this rather than into the building. However, there is a lot of weird stuff in the building, like lots of one by one uh, plates uh, or tiles. So, but I did not put the stickers on, which I will show you what stickers you get. You just get some license plates, um, some safety things, some safety precaution type of things, some things for the wood on the building, um, and then a little fire emblem. Pretty cool. So there's the front. The side. You can have one of your minifigures kind of go like that. If you want. Um, I did have I did have some difficulties with this. Um, not really the ladder. There's a but the uh, the ho the fire hose you get. Here's one side. Another side is exactly the same except the fire hose. The back. This is where the caution stickers would go. I might actually put them on just for just for fun, and I might actually put the license plate piece right there. Um, the back or the other side. And here's the hose. Um, my main issue was putting the putting it on. Um, it doesn't come with a little thing to turn it. However, those are really easy to make. Um, so you know. 
pretty simple, and I think this is more or less supposed to be with with the person that's on the on the uh, on the ladder. So I'm gonna wait to show that little feature, but what the hose looks like. And a new piece, this stud with uh with with a hole in it, pretty neat. They can make like a like a, uh, a donut with that. And uh, just to, to roll it back up, all you have to do is just go like this. It's kind of tedious. But you can also just take it off. Really easy to take off. While I was building this, I was actually watching uh, Chronicle. I actually bought that movie today. It was pretty cheap. And it's a really good movie. If you've never seen it before, I would highly, highly suggest it. It's um, a great sci-fi sci -fi flick uh, that came out a couple years ago. Um, it is uh, a, a, a POV found footage type of film, so if you're not really into that, um, then you know. However, it is fictional because, well, obviously people can't fly, um, so if you've never seen the movie, I don't want to give too much away. Um, but anyways, back to the set. Nice windshield. I really like the slope idea here. Um, it's really nice. It has doors on each either side. Like that. It's very cool. And the cockpit, or the hood just comes off. I'll take the windshield off too. And of course, one of the windows has to come off. Um, I can't fit him anything in there. So I'll take uh, Mr. Fireman. Sit him here. You can pilot this this machine. And, uh, sorry, Mr. Fireman. I'll have to move here. Move your hand. Uh, just a sec. Okay. Come on, fire guy. Apparently it's kind of hard to get these minifigs to sit still. There we go. You cannot fit too many figs inside. And that's just the way it is. And the way it's always been. Um, on the top there are lights. Which is really nice. Like siren lights. Or um, they're pretty much just siren lights. Uh, I'll take the, the ladder piece. Out. Here's what it looks like. This is one of these 4x4 four four, uh, uh, circular things. Um, there's, some side, there's some stuff on the some hooks on the sides to put your tools. You know, when they don't need them. As well as there are the hooks in the back of the cab. So. But that kind of prevent, that kind of blocks the, um, the uh, thing. So, I would not suggest doing that. Or, or it kind of, block, kind of blocks the ladder. Actually, no, it doesn't. Never mind, I was wrong. Uh, so let's get into the ladder. It's just two different pieces, and it extends pretty far. Um, it just goes up like this, and it's very, very sturdy, um, which I do really, really like. Let me just show you this. And it just pulls out like this. First time I've ever had a ladder. Now, you can just pull it off. However, it's not really recommended. If you just put it in, you can put it like this. And then that is, this is perfect to get to the to get to the house. Take one of your minifigs, take your fire extinguisher, or actually no, you can take your um, your uh, water hose. Which is kind of hard to unravel. No, oh, never mind, no it isn't. Take your little woman firefighter. I'm just going to put this down a little bit, just so I can put, put um, a little bit more. Right. Hopefully get a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of like, like, like this. There she, there you go. Can't really see it though. Um, let me get to that. And uh, she's putting out that fire. And uh, I'll show you the play feature with the fire in a second. But I do really love this ladder slash water truck. And then it just all folds up nicely to go, so they can go in their merry way. Um, so let's get into this little building, which is uh, just a little dinky building. Um, I think they mainly just added different pieces and to just give this, give, uh, instead of just releasing a, you know, uh, just a truck, just a ladder truck and releasing it for like 20 bucks. Cause I think they had enough $20 just car truck sets. So, uh, they, I bet they just thought they'd throw in a little building, which I do like the building. And if you actually just take out the fire or just take out the fire piece and just fill this in with red, you could probably use it. And, you know, take off some of the stuff over here. Probably use it just as a regular building in your city or in a brick film or stop motion or anything. So let's get into it. Nice little recycle bin here. I'm assuming it's a recycle bin because it is green. Or I could be wrong. 
light uh, lamp lamp light post. I haven't built one of these in forever. It seems this is where those wood stickers would have gone. Um, they just basically just to block off the building. Um, side. I like the wood detailing. The inside you get a, a barrel with a broom. Which is nice. <coughs> Sorry. Which is nice. Um, it's a it's a dark brown barrel and a reddish brown broom. That's cool. Here's the tip top. You can actually if you build if you just if you take out the fire, you can use this as a little room. Kind of. Not really. Oh yeah, you can. You can use it as a, as a little bedroom for one of your little mini figures. I lost the barrel. This is not very professional. And you can have them sweep up the mess. Or have her sweep up the mess. I'm sorry, I didn't know that that was not the guy. Y'all look alike. Um, I mean, ooh, whoa, broke, broken wood. This door opens, this window opens, and this is what hard to do. This window opens. So that's nice. Um, and these pieces just go on with uh, some uh, eyelid bricks. That are not recessed. Uh, I do like, really, really, really like the detail that they added with the eyelet bricks with the one by one um, pieces, uh, molds, or tiles. Which look really nice. You get a big base plate. So if you're if you're just bought this set for the live truck and you're not going to do anything with this building. You can definitely just use this base plate for other things. I mean, it's at 8 by 16 so that's a pretty good size. Um, and like I said, uh, there's a play feature with this fire. But uh, anyways, like I was saying, like I said, you can just take all the take out the fire stuff, build this out a little more, build, put the red in, or you can just leave it black and have it be like a little building um, for your city or be like a little house or apartment or make it make it a little little, I don't know, Whatever you want to do with it, um, and it will fit into a city pretty well too. So your mechanism for the fire up top. So this out. Let me grab our firewoman. Get her on the ladder. I will show you how this works. So they just got here. She's she's got the fire hose going. Oh, can you see that well? There, oh, there you go. Kind of. I am very. <laughs> she's got her fire hose going. This is up, and basically, she's oh, she just put out the fire. Um, and the way you do that is um, the fire is not actually stuck onto the onto the building the building itself. It's actually stuck into some Tekken pieces. That's how it's connected. Um, and this little cog or, or cag, can't pronounce the words, um, you just move it and you can move it up and down, which is really nice. Um, actually, um, I watched a review of this by Jang Bricks, and he was talking about that too, uh, which is very nice. I do really like it. If you just want to use this in your city and not really be a, a you know, building this on fire, and you just want to do it like this, you can. But it does look very nice. Um, another little thing is can connect you back. The roof comes off easily. It's only held on by about eight studs, which is nice. So, um, let's wrap this up because I know that this video is getting long. Uh, like I said, you do get a sticker sheet. Uh, I did not put the stickers on, however, just because it would have. Uh, I don't. I, I'm probably not going to keep the building together for a long time, and I just. I just never put the stickers on straight. Um, you get two instruction manuals: one for the ladder truck, and one for the building. Um, the ladder truck one is about sixty-five pages of building in the. Uh, building, this building right here, not the, not the other thing, uh, it's 46 pages, so in total, that's about 100 pages. Don't know why they separated it, but I don't really care. Um, 
You get a ton of extra pieces. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice. Um, I'll have to sort those out into my different bins. So let's uh, take a look at the box. I'm just going to show it to you like this, just because it's easier. All right, play features on the back, uh, the, the ladder moves, uh, how to put out the fire. Um, shows you some, some nice pictures. Pretty cool. Um, so price for piece is, 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 is terrible. Um, to be brash, uh, the set costs about $40, I believe. I think earlier in the video I said 30 but I was wrong. Um, and that's 10 more dollars than it actually should be. I uh, don't know why it is so much money. There aren't any odd molds besides the ladder being kind of an odd mold, but I don't know if they would really price that as high as, as high as 10 bucks for these two white pieces. As I'm assuming white is a really common color for them. I'm assuming that all their bricks start out white and they just get infused with color. Um, that could they could start out black. I don't know. I don't work for Lego. Um, but forty bucks for a th for a set with three hundred one pieces is is kind of kind of lame. However, uh, I can't complain because I actually got it for twelve dollars. Um, so if you live in Salem, Oregon, go to the uh, Target in the Kaiser Center. Or the Kaiser Station. If you so, if you live in Salem or Kaiser, uh, Oregon, go to the Kaiser Kaiser Station. Actually, I took the last one. Never mind. They'll probably they're probably gonna fix it too after this. But um, so yeah. So other than that price, I have no problems with the set. Great minifigures. I really love the truck. Uh, and I also really like the building. I think it's a really neat idea. I do like that the fire can go down like that, and I do like that you get some nice um, pieces with it. I mean, if even if you just wanted the ladder truck. You don't really want this building because it is kind of dinky. You just take the. You just don't even have to build the building. Um, just build a ladder truck and use the building parts for uh, anything else that you really want to build. Um, so thanks for watching my review. If you liked my review, go check out some other reviews on it too. I know James Bricks has one. I don't know anybody else that have one. He's his review is the only one I've seen. However, I don't really watch a lot of channels. I really only watch a couple. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye. Take care.